Oh my. So it is time for another loop, but before I do that, I just want to bring up my friendship journals. There are three of them, and each of them have unique questions to help you deepen your relationships. Um, it can be anyone from friendships to dating to a parent to a child, um, and you will write down their answers, and then a year from now you get to write them down again, and then you get to see how you, your relationship has changed with the person, but also how you have changed and how they have changed. So the ISTP. Um, that will be our next loop. The function stack for them is introverted thinking, extroverted sensing, introverted intuition, and then extroverted feeling. So when the ISTP is in their prime, they're going to be primarily using their first two functions, introverted thinking and extroverted sensing. But once they start entering into their loop, they're going to snap out of their extroverted sensing and then start utilizing their introverted intuition. And now the introverted intuition and the introverted thinking are now feeding off of each other, which pushes all introverted types inward while extroverted types are being pushed more and more outward. Initially, the loop is not a bad thing, but if we get stuck in it, we can start becoming obsessive. So I hope to describe what some of the obsessiveness looks like and then some ways to help climb out of it. So when the ISTP is in their loop, they start doubting the information and the data that they have been analyzing. They start to break away from being present minded and start becoming hyper analytical about the future and foreseeing the things that could go wrong. As they foresee more potential possibilities of how the future can go wrong, they go back to the data and hyper analyze it even more and more, getting fixated on those details and getting stuck in their head. This primarily keeps them from taking action. They do lots of thinking, but they're not doing anything with the things that they are thinking about or analyzing. They start having hunches about how the future is going to turn out, and they start to grow in paranoia when they are right at all about these assumptions. Because they have a fear of how things will turn out, they get driven back to their own loop of thoughts and they just start analyzing and thinking through the data and the information again. So when we're trying to climb out of these loops, we have to make sure that we also address what is pushing us into the loop, because if we don't do that, um, we can be doing all these other things and it's not going to help us. But what an ISTP can do is start having um, incremental steps to climb to their goals and be okay if it fails at first. They also should start engaging themselves with the real world. So going on a hike, doing something they really enjoy, going out with friends, do something new, eat good food, and just stimulate the senses, but yeah, become more aware of the world and needing to get outside of their head. They need to be able to start taking action with the information that they analyze. Engaging with someone that is a strong SE type can also really help. So someone like an ESTP or an ESFP, um, just to be able to bring the ISTP out of their head and into the real world. So I hope that was helpful. If you're an ISTP and you've struggled with these things and have found some ways to be able to climb out of that loop, I would love to have you um, comment those experiences below um, just to be able to help other ISTPs in their journey. So I just wanna leave you with this. Um, I hope that these are helpful for you guys to build connections with each other. Um, the link is in the description below. Um, if you would like to purchase one, there are two different types. There's a soft cover and then also a hard cover. So I will see you guys in another video, another life, you never know. And I hope y'all doing well. Yeah. All right, bye.